Bloom's just opened my eyes to a different definition of success. <laughs> So I started Bloom when I was uh, 18 years old, just at the start of my second year at university. And the reason why I started it was I was actually involved in another student-run social enterprise called Teach, Learn, Grow. But I just realised, you know, how little students felt like they could actually start businesses or not-for-profits like that. I think the immediate benefit is just the current people that are in here, you know, really turning their ideas into, you know, tangible products that really inspire next generation. The more and more time I spent here surrounded by these people, the more and more I was kind of like, oh, you know, maybe I could do a startup. And I think other people also feel that when they come into the space. So the two startups that got funding recently were Verivote and Durham Metrics. I'm Adrian, I'm CEO of Verivote, and we've been working out of Bloom for the last eight months. And essentially what we're trying to do is fix all the problems that we see with voting. I don't think in 2016 you should be voting with a piece of paper and a pencil and we want to bring democracy into the digital age. So Durametrics is a legal technology startup. Essentially what it does is collect information from legal and regulatory decisions. Those statistics are then used to make better business decisions. So the first thing I did was go to Mark and I said, Mark, we're looking to create a prototype. We need a front-end web designer. Mark simply turned around and pointed to one guy sitting at a desk just across from him and he's been working with us for the past three or four months. Echo Steps runs a Perth-based nanny agency where we link families and nannies together. And we also run an educational program which runs uh, coding and programming workshops uh, in high schools and primary schools around Perth. Cultured is an information service for backpackers and international students. We provide an insight into Perth's culture from a local student's perspective. We're really proud of the fact that we have a very diverse group of members and students that are working with us. I think that it's so important to be able to have people working side by side from uh, different disciplines. Uh, that's where you get really interesting, exciting things happen. That's how innovation works. <laughs> St Catharines College has been an amazing partner for Bloom. They really stood up to help us out when we were really at the start and gave us this space, but they gave us much more than that in terms of the sort of support and nurturing us as well. I think they're kind of proving a university college is much more than just a place for students to sleep. You're exposed to really high quality people every day with just a huge range of ideas that are floating around the space. So you feel like you're really part of the energy and part of a, a really positive environment. Innovation is you know, really not just about a single person, it's about a community coming together.